Hey, how's it going? I am not making... This isn't a guide video. This is not a guide video. I want to make a guide video. My plan is to make it before next week, but it's not currently made. I'm in the process, kind of. I haven't started yet, but I am going to do it. Anyway, this is more of just a chat because I'm scared. I'm scared of making the guide video. They keep making changes. They've just changed Spark Clock. They've just nerfed it into the ground. I am terrified to give information that is false and then people laugh at me. I don't want that. I don't want to give false information. So I want to talk about survival still. I wanted to show you the builds, the talents we'll be using, the gear we want to get, the embellishments, the trinkets, all the fun stuff. Because I know it's fun to look at all that stuff and I don't know if Wowhead or Icy Veins are going to update this week or next week, but I know people want to check it out. You want to see what you're going to try and aspire to get and, and everything like that. So first off, numbers big. Look at this. Look at this huge number. 244591. That is a big number. It's because gear... High level, it's a big jump. It's the biggest jump it's ever doing from last season to next season. It's about 100k more DPS than we were currently doing. So big jump. I should say I'm on the Raid Bots beta build. This build is janky. It is super janky. Analyze with care because I simmed this a week ago. I simmed the exact same build. Nothing has changed here today or yesterday. And suddenly we've just lost a thousand damage. I don't know where it's gone, but it's, it's not super accurate is what i'm trying to say it's still a good rough guess a, a good guide on where and what we'll be using like the talents look at the talents let's look at the talents we have two builds i mean three if you can clout no cd <laughs> include no cds did i say in clout what okay um <laughs> anyway so these two sim literally exactly the same like these two you do one sim this one sims higher you do another sim this one sims higher they're identical, yet they're two completely different builds. One is using Coordinate Assault, one is using Spearhead. And then you can also just run neither of them because, truth be told, these, cool these cooldowns, they are very underwhelming. They do not do a whole lot at all. Um, it's actually, if you just run neither of them, you'll lose about, I don't know, like, I don't have the sim open, it's about 0.5% DPS, maybe a bit less that you'll lose just running none of them. You just take all the... Uh, all the spear focus and the sweeping spear in terms of engagement and intense focus. You just take all that stuff. You can even take bloody, you can even take bloody claws. That is how irrelevant or underwhelming, not irrelevant, they're still relevant, but how underwhelming the two cooldowns are. Kind of just our talent tree in general. Everything kind of just is underwhelming, but they all seem very similar. Anyway, uh, <laughs> two builds, two main builds. Quartnet Assault running with Bombardier. Bombs got buffed. We got 5% single target buff with it. And then also the tier set with Fury of the Eagle increases it by an extra 5%. We like the extra bombs. It's just what's simming well. Fury of the Eagle, we're obviously using that now as well because the tier set revolves all around it. And, oh, I should mention, some things that are changing. In terms of engagement, we were always taking this before. It is free focus. Why would you not take a talent that gives you free focus? Same with intense focus. Free focus. Why are we not taking them? Well, I don't know. Sims just don't want you to take them. Apparently, they sim the I mean, it's the tiniest bit less. You can take terms of engagement. You don't really lose much. And also Terms of Engagement has a random reset, so maybe it's still good to take it. Questionable, questionable. But blank is advantage. It's got some upside. Um, the, it's got the chance to reset kill command, um, which is good because that gives you more free of the eagles. And steel trap as well. We're taking the steel trap. What is this? Why are we taking steel trap? It just seems better taking steel trap. Steel trap is actually just edging slightly ahead. But if you don't like throwing traps, you don't have to take it. It's the thing with our talents. You lose about, it's less than 0.1% damage. It is so, so minor to take Arctic Polar two points in this instead. So if you don't like traps, don't run it. <laughs> Just take Arctic Polar instead. And also Arctic Polar has some upside in AOE. So if there's, a, if there's ever an extra mob, it just, it wins out. Also why I'm struggling with this guide video, because I mean, this is like, I could show this and I could show this and I could say, pick one. Or pick the no CD one. And then people will just take Steel Trap in every single situation. And I just don't know how to... I mean, I could, I could kind of just say what I just said, I guess. But anyway, let's just let's move away from talents. That's the two main talent builds. The small changes. Um, I mean, the AoE one, here's AoE. Uh, maybe it's not super accurate. There's a chance we're not using a Ruthless Marauder. I haven't done many AoE sims. Thing with AoE Sims is you do it in Dungeon Slice and Dungeon Slice is the sketchiest thing right now. Um, it's on the Italdazar dungeon and it, I think it's just... I don't trust it. 
This is with five targets. We'll come back to this one. We'll come back to this one because first we want to check out gear. Our best gear. This is our abyss right here. Write it up. This is what you want. Kind of. Not actually. Don't write it up. Um, ignore ignore the embellishments for a second. Everything else though. Um, tier set on the shoulders, chest, uh, hands, and the legs. And that is because the helmet for the 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 tier set helmet has mastery on. We hate mastery. We do not want mastery on anything at all. If you can avoid mastery at all costs, you do it. As soon as you get mastery in a piece of gear, it's trash. If it's high eye level, it's maybe okay, but it's still, you don't, you don't want it. <laughs> the stats that you want, another reason why I'm scared of making a guide video, is you want crit haste burst. There is no best stat, because it changes all the time. Right now you see verse gems in here. Technically our best stats is crit and haste. But as soon as you get too much haste, it falls off dramatically. As soon as you get too much crit, it falls off a little bit and you want more verse. It's a bit impossible to say what stats you want, because it changes so much, but Basically, you get a crit and haste in most things, and then a bit of verse, you're happy, you're good. Like, look at these rings. Hey, look at all this verse, and we still want more verse. The sim is still telling us that we want more verse, so it's just, it's, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a hard thing to navigate. Um, enchant, look at this, we've got a new enchant. I don't know what, I have no idea where this comes from. It does about, um, I think it's this thing, it does Cruel Nightmare, it does about 2% of our damage. There is a boss called... Uh, let me find it. Igra. Igra. Yeah, that's how you say the name. Uh, it's not on the loot table, but I assume it comes from that boss. Or something. But yeah, there's an enchant for the helmet. It's pretty good. Free damage. We like it. Weapon. We have a weapon. Um, we had a weapon last season with the Rashox weapon. Now we have one from the final boss. This is a good weapon. It's a very good weapon. It is about, once again, 2% of our damage. <laughs> and... It does increase damage, if you, if you have a little read. It does damage randomly, it's a passive, no need to click a button every two and a half minutes. That's a win. And it does 400% bonus damage against um, enemies with 90% health, meaning that Eridicron, the boss in the dungeon, the Dawn of the Infinite dungeon, is going to do a lot of damage on that boss. It's going to feel really good. But even so, it's still, it's still pretty good. Wafting Devotion is winning out, I don't know, stats. That's the thing actually with these sims. Can I find a sim that shows it? The the food. Um, not that. Well fed. Crit verse food is out simming agility food, so yeah, this is the food we'll be using. I'll I'll show that as well. So you want the crit verse food. At least when you get gear, I think at the start you still probably want agility. Trinkets, that's like a trinkets next. Trinkets are fun. And I'll get the two sims that are simming trinkets. This one and not you. Oh, my sims are a mess. Which one is it? This one. Okay, so trinkets. Brand is insane. Brand is OP. Brand is simming way higher than anything else for basically every melee spec in the game. This is everybody's piss. That's why I think it's probably going to get nerfed. Another reason why I'm scared to make a guide video, because if I say, you want brand, and then it gets nerfed, I'm going to look so stupid. <laughs> um, brand comes from... Oh, he's a fun thing. Um... Everything that Blizzard forgets about Survival Hunter, he's another reason why they forget. It's not on the loot table for Survival Hunter. You have to be a... You could be a warrior, you could be any other melee DPS in the game, it'll drop for you. Survival Hunter, we have to ask other specs for it, I guess, because it's not on our loot table. A bit annoying, um, if you use Master Looter, it doesn't really matter, but if you use the personal loot thing, then be sad, because you can't roll for it, I guess. <laughs> it's not on our loot table, so... Yeah, and that's our abyss by a lot. Like, if we look at the sim, 5.3% of our overall damage. Lava Bolt, this is the stake one. This is our second best trinket, and it is considerably behind our best one with the brand. But yeah, other trinkets are good. We've got this one. This is from the Worm Boss, the Snake Boss. This guy, uh, he drops this one. It's also it's a pretty good one in single tag. You're happy if you get it. But... This sim's basically the same. You got Midas Talisman. This is from Atal Tazar. Sims very well. Be happy if you get that in dungeons. It's a pretty good one. There's not many good dungeon ones, but it's one of the good ones. Bandal Bandalar? Bandalier? Bandalier of Twisted Blades. That comes from the second boss, the Igrig person. This one is also really good. It sims very similar and also better in AoE. This is a this is a good one to get. If you get this, be happy because it is good in single target and it is good in AoE with brand. 
also good single target and AoE. Sandglass, also pretty good single target. Last boss drops this thing. The higher eye level trinket kind of sucks. I mean, it's all right, but it's not amazing. It's, it's eh. Don't be super happy if you get it. And I'm, I'm sad to say that because it's the last boss trinket. I want it to be good, but it's just not that amazing. We've also got the mirror. This is from Dawn of the Infinites, the last part of Dawn of the Infinites. It is pretty good. It's really good in AoE. And then you got Pip's Emerald Friendship Badge. Not great in single target. It's a bit behind, um, but it's really good in AoE. And then all the rest of the dungeon ones all suck. You got Egg, not great. Branch, it's got Mass Run. We don't like it. Spiked Counterweight, super undertuned. This thing is so undertuned for what it is. It should be amazing. It's got haste, it's got damage. It's what we want to use, but it's just so undertuned. And then, I mean, like all the rest, just they're all mastery based and we don't like mastery. Common trend, it's got mastery on, it's bad. Um, and then uh, AoE trinkets, we can have a little look. Um, brand again, brand is insane. Pips is pretty good. Just because we like stat raw stats in AoE, always going to be good. So Pips is pretty good. Mirror is good because it's raw stats and you can control when you use it. Sandglass is good because it's raw stats. <laughs> just haste. Bandalar is good. You've got a, a few selections here. So, oh, embellishments. Last thing to talk about really is embellishments. What do you want to be using? Treads and the toxic patch again. This was Biss last season. It gives you minus 20% move speed. It's still Biss. But, but, there's a but. If we scroll down, you'll notice that you don't lose not that much DPS if you go for the, these, uh, these braces. It's a good thing to craft alongside a Shadow Flame patch before you'd want these and the cloak. Now it's these and the Shadow Flame patch and you lose really not that much damage. So I would probably, by probably I mean I would advise this over the boots. It's not even half a percent. It's like super small, super negligible, negible, negible, but whatever, um, that word. <laughs> it's super small, super tiny, the difference. And you don't have to deal with the minus 20% slow. Obviously, if you don't care, if you're a pro, if you don't care about movement speed, get the boots. If you care about your movement speed, these are really not that low. It's definitely a good craft. Also, Laria, Laria and the brace is also good craft. You don't lose too much. And I, I could probably get, this isn't, I don't have premium. I can't sim all the gems at once, but you could definitely probably get a, better combination of stats for Lariat to be better. One good reason to craft Lariat. If you craft braces, it doesn't come with a socket. I know it has a socket on the sim here, but when you craft it, it doesn't come with a socket. Not great. Also Shadow Flame, it's on the belt. You probably want to craft it on boots. You can craft it on anything really, but Lariat, it comes with three sockets. So you've got no downside. You're not losing a socket when you craft it. And it's also a good necklace. You can put the stats, crit haste on it. All the other necklaces this season, outside of two raid ones, Crit Haste, we like it. There's also this one, Crit Verse, we like it. This also has some defensive bonus as well. Good necklace. Oh, every single dungeon trinket has mastery on it. I'm saying trinkets, all the necklaces, sorry. All the necklaces have mastery on, but them too. So crafting the necklace could also be a good choice. You've got to really decide what you want. If you get a good necklace week one, you don't have to worry about it. But if you don't, maybe Larry is a good option. But yeah, this is not supposed to be a guide video. I just want to show <laughs> show what the specs open like, showing you what talents you can use. I mean, you can really use any talents you want. Like this is this and this, but these two are uh, the best talent builds. But you can drop a point basically anywhere and put it in pretty much anything as, as long as you're not getting energy ally, which does nothing. But yeah, you can really. It's very flexible. It's very flexible talent tree, and. I should note as well, since we're not taking terms of engagement all, anymore, you can take Aspect of the Eagle in fights if you want to. If you don't want the Harpoon, you can get this instead for a bit more um, range on your Mongoose fight. It's not ever really necessary because you've always got stuff to do in range, but yeah. Anyway, that is everything. We also have a red buff now as well, but I'm not going to talk about it because it's so bad. I don't really care about talking about it. We have a red buff, so if you want to, if you're interested, it's bad and it sucks and we'll use it on bosses but we don't really care about it otherwise okay yeah uh a guide video incoming hopefully <laughs> oh god um hopefully it'll come out 
before or when the new season hits. If not, then check Wowhead, check Icy Veins, they're always up to date, made by reliable people. Check them out. Uh, anyway, enough rambling. Have an awesome day. Any questions, leave them in the comments below and see you later.